everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. We have here a Pullen Pro. It's uh, basically a PP19A42. This is a 19 horsepower, 42 inch cut, Pullen Pro. I can tell you right now, this is actually a Husqvarna in disguise by looking at the model number here. When you start with the product code, it says 960460770. This is a Husqvarna. All right, so you go by the product code even though they say the model number is a PP19A42. So I want to show you guys how I pull off the mower deck. All right, first thing, like I said in every, all of my videos, make sure that you're on a level surface, concrete, or asphalt if you can do it. It's the easiest to slide the mower deck out. Then you have to make sure you put the mower deck in all the way in down position. This is the height adjuster for the deck, and put it all the way down. First we're gonna do the, I guess we can do the front pin first. All right, and actually we should probably back up and do the belt, but we can do the front pin. This is one of these nice little pins. I use a pair of needle nose pliers to take everything off. It makes it a lot easier. And you're just gonna take the washer, make sure you don't lose the washer. And you pull the rod out the front, and then you're gonna make sure you take it out the front so you do not try to drive around with this on your tractor. You will bend it. Okay, now the belt comes off the front engine pulley. You have these two little hook J's right here. And you got to make sure you put them back into the into here the correct way when you put it, put it back on again. But just take it out of the loop, pull it down the front, and I'm just going to reach around on the other side and pull it out. So now the belt has come down. Pretty easy on that scenario. Going to go to the middle bar here that attaches up front. Has that nice big clip, which I do like. It's facing the right direction. And you're going to pull it up and out. And that was a little tricky, but it comes out. Don't lose them. Pull the bar down, and then you have your back adjuster here, and you're gonna do the same thing. Now, I like to have them facing the other direction. I've said this in my other videos too, is that if you're moving forward, I like to have this pin, the washer just came out, I like to have the pin facing this way when you put it back in, just in case you're moving forward, you're not gonna have to worry about this thing popping out. You back up, you move forward more than you back up. So this pin here, these are one of the newer style pins. These are very nice pins. If you can get these for your machine, whatever you have, it's really nice, nice pins to have. I'm gonna take the washer off, pull this one out to the side. Now we're gonna go around to the other side. And you have, this one's a non-adjustable, but you can still, you still have to take the pin out, but you have the only have the adjuster on the one side. Take the pin out, pull the washer off, and move the arm back. And we have the one in the center right here. Same scenario. Pull these down a little bit and come off the front. Oh. Right. Oh, Soften down. Now we're gonna go back to the other side. And this is the non-shoot side. You have your cable. This is your cable that, that engages your mower deck. You have to look up on the frame a little bit. And there's a little clip that the cable, a lot of these new machines have a nice little clip that holds the cable out of the way. You just have to pry that clip apart. It snaps in when you put it back in. Push it up, snaps out, and it gets the cable out. And now you're able to pull the mower deck out a little bit. All right, now let's put the mower deck up, the um, lift lever back up. That gets all your hangers out of the way. So I just lifted the hangers out of the way and I'm going to pull the deck out nice and slow. And you have to dis you have to get your cable, your blade engagement cable off. Now with these, there's a little it's hooked in by a little piece of plastic. And if you take your needle nose pliers and you push down on it, you can actually you push down on your with your pliers and you pull out with the cable. I was born with the one hand, so it's a little bit tricky for me, but I'm going to push that down. Now if I pull the cable out a little bit, It'll pull, pull right out. And you see how that is? That clip in there, when you put it back in, you're just gonna push it in, and it's gonna actually hold itself in right there. You can also put a uh, pin in there too. There's a hole in there, you can put a clevis pin if you want to, but these are designed to stay in. So we're gonna take it back out again, and it's out. Pick that up. Now make sure your cable goes under your belt and under this rod when you put it back in. All right, and then you have a hole here where the spring's attached. You go to like a 90 degree, and you should be able to push that spring down. It has a little hook on the end. And then you can take this up out of the way. I usually hang it up over the deck light 
handle here, and then we can pull the motor neck all the way out. And there you have it. That's how you take a motor neck off of a Pullin' Pro PP19A42 mower. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.